At the RMU Island Sports Center, I'm Matt Geica, joined by senior winger Mike Loria as the Colonials prepare to take on RIT, two-game series, Friday and Saturday, right here on the ice surface behind us. And uh, Mike, first of all, last weekend, a lot of talk after the series against Army, uh, a tie on Friday night, a loss on Saturday, uh, just about getting the team to be in, in a better spot competitively. What can you guys do during practice to lift that level up? I think practice has got to be just as hard or even harder than games. You can't just go out there and go through the motions during practice and expect when it, when it comes full tilt to, to just be competitive like that. It doesn't work like that. Um, we have to be competitive in practice every day, uh, finish hits, just play like it's a game, and uh, I think we're going to be all right. In the past, RIT is a competitive squad. They've been to the, the Frozen Four, the only Atlantic hockey team to make it that far, a couple of times in the NCAA tournament, but the last two years, Maybe a little bit down. You were mentioning that usually it's a pretty competitive game, though, against the Tigers. What can you expect this weekend from them? Yeah, it's going to be another competitive series. Uh, they have a really skilled team, really disciplined team. Um, we're going to have to be really good systematically. Our power play is going to have to be way better. Uh, we're going to have to finish hits. Their D like to join the play a lot, so we're going to have to be aware um, in the defensive zone. And on the four check, just make sure they're taking out of the play and uh, just try to play down there. That's, uh, that's the best thing we can do. Yeah, let's talk about that power play for you guys. Four goals in, in four games. You've scored in three of four. Some big ones, too, including the one to, to tie the score against Army last Friday and get that tie. What's been going well for the unit? You've been out there for a lot of those. You have one of those power play goals, in fact. I think we're kind of finding our own, uh, just finding our spots right now. We've had a lot of different changes. Probably have some more changes here coming up. But um, once we get in the zone, we get settled. Uh, we have enough skill in that unit that it just takes over and we make plays and we got to continue that. We have to be better. Watching your practice here after it wrapped up, a lot of you guys stick around afterward to work on individual skills. Saw you taking some shots, working on some things offensively. Has that always been your approach? You want to try to take advantage of the ice time that you do get? Yeah, definitely. Um, you see guys like Crosby, Patrick Kane, those guys are always the last ones off the ice. Um, they're, they're the most skilled guys in the league for a reason. They work on it a lot. Um, I just try to get out there and kind of do the same things, work on skills, stuff I thought I could have done better on the weekend, shooting, uh, things like that, just to try to add different things to your game and um, hopefully it helps out. And lastly, I mentioned you were a senior. I've asked a lot of the upperclassmen this with a team that has so many freshmen, so many underclassmen. Have you tried to be a little bit different in terms of leadership or uh, leading the way by example or even vocally? Yeah, I think both of those. Uh, this is, I think, in my five years, this is the third team I've been on with 10-plus freshmen, and um, there's there's growing pains every year with it. Um, they, We do, too, have to be better leaders. Um, they have to learn the game better. We have to lead, uh, show them the way, uh, whether it's staying after practice or just telling them what to do, things that I've seen or been through. Uh, I, think, I think the seniors have done a really good job, and leaders, uh, juniors, too, taking a step this year with the leadership, and um, it's only going to get better. That's Mike Loria. He mentioned a couple of teams he's been on, formerly of UMass Law. We're happy he's a Colonial in his second year here. Thanks a lot, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. Colonials take on RIT this weekend. I mentioned Friday and Saturday. Go to rmucolonials.com for all the details and tickets.